Hi, hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Bola Krishna. Today I am going to explaining class 10, chapter 4, progressions. It is Andhra Pradesh and Telangana syllabus, Telangana State syllabus. So, here example 20. Find the 20th term and nth term of GP. GP means geometric progression. So, what is called geometric progression? In the progression, the ratio of any two terms is same. Okay, the common ratio is same. Okay, that progression is called geometric progression. So, here they given that 5 by 2, 5 by 4, 5 by 8 and so on. From this, they asking that find the 20th term and nth term of GP. So, here given GP 5 by 2, 5 by 4, 5 by 8 and so on. So, from the GP first find that first term, so that is equal 5 by 2, next common ratio R is equal A2 by A1. So, 5 by 4 by 5 by 2. So, a fraction in the denominator is become reciprocal. So, that is equal 5 by 4 into 2 by 5. 5, 5, cancel 2, 1, ja, 2, 2, ja. That is equal 1 by 2. The common ratio is 1 by 2. So, they asking that find the 20th term. So, the general form of 20th term in the GP is A R to the power of 19. So, that is equal A is how much? 5 by 2 into R is how much? 1 by 2 whole power 19. So, A by B whole power M. A power M by B power M. So, that is equal to 5 by 2 into 1 to the power of 19 by 2 to the power of 19. So, that is equal to 5 power 1 power 19. How much? 1. So, 2 power 1 into 2 power 19. That is equal to 1 plus 19, 20. So, here A power M into A power N. A power M plus N. So, that is 1 plus 19. How much? 20. Next, what they asking that? Nth term. So, the general form of nth term of GP is A into R to the power of n minus 1. So, that is equal to A is 5 by 2, R is 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1. So, A power m minus n, A power m by A power n. So, that is equal to 5 by 2 into 1 by 2 whole power 19 uh, n by 1 by n. So, here 5 by 2 into 1 by 2 power 9. So, in that fraction, the denominator and fraction is become reciprocal into 2 by 1, 2 to cancel that is equal to 5 by 2 power n. So, the nth term of the given GP is 5 by 2 power n. Next, which term of the GP 2 2 root 2 comma 4 and so on is 128. So, here which term, how many terms, ok last term, we can use the nth term of the GP. So, here what is the nth term of GP? A into R to the power of n minus 1. So, how you can find, before you can find, first find the common ratio and first term. So, here given GP. 2 comma 2 root 2 comma 4 and so on here is 128 128 is the which term so here first term a is equal to common ratio is equal 2 root 2 by 2 2 2 cancel that is equal root 2 so here 128 is the which term they ask that so how you can find by using nth term so here nth term so, 128, which term you don't know that? Let us check that is nth term, that is 128. So, what the formula for nth term in GP? A into R to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 128. So, here A is 2, R is root 2 whole power n minus 1 is equal to 128. So, A power m minus n is equal to A power m by A power n. So, 2 into root 2 whole power n by 2 is equal to 128. So, 2 to cancel. So, that is equal to square root 2. So, square root how you can write 2 power 1 by 2. 
so here 2 power 1 by 2 whole power n is equal 128 how we can write as 2 power 7 so a power m whole power n is equal a power m into n so 2 power 1 by 2 into n is equal 2 power 7 so base are equal then powers are also equal so that is equal n by 2 is equal to 7 n is equal to 7 into 2 so n is equal to how much 14 so how many terms are which term it is 14th term of gp is 128 so 128 is the which term means which term it is 14th term so here yeah, 2 into root 2 whole power n minus 1 is equal to 128 so here 2 multiply it is going to set up and divide so root 2 whole power n minus 1 is equal to 128 by 2 so 2 1 ja 2 64 ja so root 2 we can add as 2 power 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1 is equal to 64 so here 64 how we can write as 2 power 6 so here 2 power a power m whole power n is equal a power m into n so that is equal n minus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 power 6 base are equal powers are also equal so n minus 1 is equal 6 into 2 so n minus 1 is equal to 12 n is equal to 12 plus 1 n is equal to how much 13 so which term it is the 13th term of gp is 128 So, in a JP, the third term is 24 and the sixth term is 192. Find the tenth term. So, given, given third term is 24, that is a r square is equal to 24. Next, sixth term is 192. That is a r to the power of 5 is equal to 192. So it is equation 1 and it is equation 2. So here 1 by 2. So a r square by a r to the power of 5. So 24 by 192. So a a cancel. So here a power m by a power n is equal a power m minus n. Okay, if m is greater than m. So, a power m by a power n, n is greater than m, we can write as 1 by a power n minus m. So, that is here 1 by r to the power of 5 minus 2. Next, here um, 24, 8 ja, 24, 1 ja, 24, 8 ja, we can write as 1 by 8. So, r to the power of 5 minus 2, that is 1 by r cube is equal 1 by 8. So, that is equal r cube is equal 8 r cube is equal 8 we can add as 2 cube so base are equal powers are also equal powers are equal then base also equal so that is r is equal how much 2 so the r value can substitute any one equation we can get the a so here r value substitute in equation 1 so that is equal a r square is equal to 24 so a 2 square is equal to 24 so a 2 square 4 is equal to 24 so a is equal to 24 by 4 so 4 1 ja 4 6 ja a is equal to how much 6 the a value is equal to how much 6 so here what are asking that find the tenth term so here the general form of 10th term of gp is a r to the power of 9 so here 10th term is equal a r to the power of 9 so a is equal to how much 6 r is how much 2 2 power 9 so 6 into 2 power 9 that is 5 12 so 6 to ja 12 6 1 is 6 plus 1 7 6 5 ja 30 so the tenth term of GP is 3072. So thank you for watching my video and say to your friends. If anybody not subscribed till now, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you.